Hi, I'm Sean with Catalina Rug, and in this video, we're going to be covering nine tips for decorating with Persian rugs and Oriental rugs. So this is the first video in our series of uh, decoration tips. And what we like to do here is bring you our decades of experience working with different interior designers, working with thousands of clients, helping them choose the right rug for their rooms. And what we like to do is bring you that experience and give you some of the tips that we learned over the years with this video series. So if you're interested to learn about tips for decorating with Persian rugs and Oriental rugs, stick around and all that is coming up now. All right, so for our first tip, we're gonna be focusing on the type of room that you're decorating, whether it has already heavy patterns in the walls and it has a lot of decoratives in the room, or is it more of a subdued room with more plain walls and less decorations? So if you're dealing with a room that's heavily patterned and has a lot of decorations, what you wanna do is look into oriental rugs or Persian rugs that have a more subdued uh, pattern and more subdued colors. And the reason for that is that you don't want the rug to be clashing with a busier room and a heavily patterned room. And you want something that, that just blends in there and doesn't try to fight uh, the other decoration. Now, if you're dealing with a room that you wanna uplift that, that is already kind of plain, what you wanna do is look into Persian rugs or oriental rugs that have more bold colors, that have busier patterns and heavier patterns. And what that's gonna do is help you uplift the room's overall uh, complexity and colors and just bring uh, more life into the room. So, so that's the first tip is pay attention to the pattern you already have in the room and how busy and decorative it already is and choose the rug with the right patterns and colors to complement that. All right, so for our second tip of decorating with Persian oriental rugs, we're gonna cover the size of the rug. So this is a really important aspect that's often overlooked, but what you wanna do is, of course, when you're choosing a rug, you're dealing with the design of the rug, the colors of the rug, the type of the rug, but something to pay attention to is, is the rug going to be big enough for the room? So. In our experience, generally speaking, having a rug that's larger is gonna be better than smaller when it comes to the size for a specific room. If you choose a rug that's too small for the room, then it's gonna feel like it's out of place. And of course, if you choose a rug that's way too large for the room, it's gonna be it's gonna feel like it's taking over the room. So what you wanna choose is the correct size rug, and we're gonna be going over more tips on that, and we have a lot of size guides on our website that you could look at, and of course you could ask us anytime you have a question about that, but a general uh, best practice is to try to go larger rather than smaller. Larger rugs in a room usually look much better than if the rug is too small. All right, so continuing with the topic of rug sizes, let's go over tip number three, which is having a large enough rug for your living room. So typically when it comes to choosing the rug size for your living room, we run into three different scenarios. Scenario one is the, when it comes to the sofa or the couch or the chairs that are around the living room, you either have a rug that is gonna cover the entire room and the couch is gonna sit with four legs on top of the rug, so the rug is gonna be completely underneath the couch. So that's scenario one, which we definitely recommend, which requires a larger size rug. Then scenario two would be having a, a rug size where half of the couch or sofa is sitting on top of the rug and half of it off. So you have the front legs of the sofa on top of the rug and then the back legs off the rug. But still, when you're sitting on the rug, your feet are gonna be on top of the rug and you're gonna notice the rug going underneath the couch. And then scenario number three, which is uh, what we would recommend for if you wanted to go the smallest size rug for the living room would be if the rug comes up all the way to the edge of the couch where if you're sitting on the couch you can still place your feet on top of the rug so that would be the smallest size we recommend when it comes to the size of the persian oriental rug for the living room all right so continuing on with the size topic let's go over tip number four which is all about the size of the rug you choose for your dining room. 
So when it comes to the dining room, it's a little bit less flexible compared to the living room. But basically the size of the rug you choose, it has to cover obviously where the dining table is and it has to extend out far enough for not just the chairs to be sitting on top of the rug when they're stowed in, but also when you pull the chairs out, all four legs of the dining room uh, chairs need to be sitting on top of the rug. So there's not a lot of flexibility in this and the reason is if the rug is too small in this kind of situation, you're gonna have uh, the, the legs of the chair partially off and partially on the rug. The chair is gonna feel pretty unstable and also of course it just doesn't look quite right. So that's something to de definitely uh, consider when it comes to choosing the size rug for your dining room. And we have, again, uh, we have size guides available on our site, which we'll provide you links to, where you could take a look at what size rug we recommend depending on your dining room table size and how many chairs you have. So definitely take a look at that before you select the size for your dining room rug. All right, so now on to tip number five where we're discussing the colors in your rug that you choose and then the colors of your room. So this is a pretty important topic and sometimes there's some difficulties when it comes to choosing a rug because of its colors. And the reason for this is that, you know, Persian rugs and Oriental rugs, these are um, artwork. This is a hand knotted, one of a kind pieces that are created by the weavers and we don't necessarily get a say in exactly what kind of colors they choose for their art. And that's what makes the art of Persian rugs so interesting. But one thing to pay attention to is when you are choosing a rug for your room, try to see if you can match a couple of the accent colors of the room with the rug. Of course, what we've heard from a lot of the interior designers that we work with is you don't wanna to try to match too many accent colors with the rug because that's gonna make the room feel kind of flat and characterless. And on the opposite side, if you don't have any colors that match, then you're running the chance of not having a lot of harmony in the room and kind of making the room feel a little bit chaotic because there's no colors that are complementing each other. So again, try to find a couple of different accent colors in the room uh, to match with your rug and that should create, create a nice harmony for the room and, and really uplift the room. All right, so for tip number six, I wanna remind you that you can choose more than one rug for a single space. Now, this especially comes in handy whenever you're dealing with a room that's really large. So let's say you're dealing with a really large living room or a really long hallway. And we've seen this work over and over again with some of our clients and we'll try to share the pictures with you. But basically they've taken a living room that's quite large and instead of choosing one large rug to cover in the entire room, they have let's say two eight by 11 rugs sitting next to each other that are complementary to each other. And what's really nice about this is that, well, you get to have two different rugs, you get to have two different experiences and you could really practice your creativity and try to create harmony with these two rugs in, in your living space. And same thing with the hallway, instead of let's say if you have a 20 foot hallway, instead of having one really long runner in the hallway, you could put two, let's say eight feet or nine feet runners and put a little bit of space between them and it really changes the look and feel of your hallway. So you could be walking down the hallway from one end and have one experience and as you transition to the second part of the hallway, you have a different experience. And of course you could do all of this with harmony. So definitely keep that in, in mind. Don't restrict yourself to a single rug for one space, especially when you're dealing with larger spaces or longer hallways. So tip number seven, I wanna remind you that you can use Persian and Oriental rugs in any room of your house, any space, and you could really change the dynamic of that room. So use the rugs abundantly. So a lot of times when we have customers first come to us with their first or second purchase, they're usually looking for like living room space or dining room or even bedroom. But remember, there's also the kitchen where if the kitchen feels cold and kind of plain, if you add a rug in there, it's gonna make it feel much more lively, much more cozy. Same thing for, let's say, an entryway. You could make a standard looking entryway look into a very welcoming and really warm, a luxurious feeling when you walk into the door. And also, uh, same thing with the office space. Let's say you have a home office and it feels kind of 
uh, dry and boring and plain. If you add a Persian rug or into a rug in the office space, it's going to make it feel like really a luxurious office space where you're spending a lot of your day working in anyways. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, try to find different spaces in your home and keep an open mind about where you could put your rug. It doesn't necessarily have to go into the standard rooms only. There's a lot of places in your home that you can use these rugs. All right, so for tip number eight, uh, we're going to be going over how you can visually connect or disconnect different spaces based on the colors and patterns of the rug that you choose. And really, we can make a whole video about this topic, but for now, uh, what I want to tell you about is that if you're choosing uh, a rug, let's say in your living room, and then you're choosing another rug in your entryway, and these spaces are near each other, if you want the spaces to be visually connected, so if you walk into the entryway, you're going to be connecting the entryway into the living room, then definitely try to find rugs that are either the same type rugs or they have similar design so for example if you're if you really like more geometrical or tribal design rugs then finding two rugs with that more bold tribal design to connect the spaces visually or you could do the same thing with floral design so pay attention to the patterns and colors that you're choosing if you're trying to visually connect the spaces or if you're dealing with a situation for example you have a dining room near the living room but you want to visually separate these spaces then try to choose colors and patterns that are different in these two rugs so that way visually they get separated so definitely something to pay attention to we'll be covering this more in other videos and getting more in depth into this topic but this is a really uh, powerful way to either connect or, or separate rooms in your home all right so for our final tip we want to remind you that you can always use persian rugs as the artwork that they are and put them on display so here at Catalina Rug, we always like to call Persian rugs floor art, but also remember they could be used as wall art as well. And you don't necessarily have to choose a pictorial rug to be displayed on the wall. You could take a tribal rug, a floral rug, any type of rug, whatever you like, whatever that you're impressed by. If you have a empty wall in your home and you feel like it could use a little bit more character and you want to uplift the room then definitely remember that you could display Persian rugs on your wall as well so uh, remember Persian rugs are great for the floor but also they make great artwork for the wall all right so that concludes our video on nine tips for decorating with Persian and oriental rugs I really hope that you found this video helpful now, if you want to learn more about decorating tips with Persian Oriental rugs, then definitely head over to our site, CatalinaRug.com. We have a lot of posts with decorating tips there, and we're planning to make more videos covering this topic. And if you want to learn more about Persian and Oriental rugs in general, then also on our site, we have a lot of videos and we have a lot of content and, of course, a huge selection of products that you can take a look at. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, then I invite you to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.